Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me for our Kindergarten Ready Story Time. This story time today is going to be all about fish. Okay, to start off our story time, we always start off with our uh, story time song. So we're going to rock back and forth and we're going to sing our song. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. We'll read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Okay, friends, let's get right to it. The first book that we're going to read is called Fish Wish, and it is by Bob Barner. If I were a fish, I would wake up in a, on a coral reef. Dolphins would pass above. Sea turtles would glide by. I would wind through octopus arms and zip through squid ink. Sometimes I would dive deep down and float up in a cloud of jellyfish. Passing by seahorses, shrimps, and crabs. At night, I would tuck myself into a sea anemone. And in a sea of stars, I would make a wish. end. Okay, now we are going to do a song and it's called The Waves in the Sea. And we're going to pretend that our hands are waves. So we're going to do waves like this. Okay, so the waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, snap, snap all day long. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. The boats in the sea go toot, 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 toot. Toot, 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 the boats in the sea go toot, 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 all day long. Great job. Okay, we're going to read our next, next story. And our next story is a little bit funny because it is called Barry the Fish with Fingers. And it is by Sue Hendra. Sea slug liked to lie on the ocean floor and watch the fish swim by. He did this every day. He saw fat ones, thin ones, some as big as cars, some as small as buttons, toothy ones, big nosed ones, googly eyed ones, Spotty ones, stripy ones, you name it, he'd seen it. In fact, he thought he had seen it all. Until he caught sight of Barry, that is. How do you do? asked Barry, proudly waving his fish fingers. 
Wow, a fish with fingers, exclaimed Sea Slug. These new fingers are the answer to every fish's problem, said Barry. What's your problem? Barry asked a moody, moody looking fish. There was a long silence. I'm bored, said the fish. We're all bored, said the others. Well, prepare to be unbored. Fingers mean finger puppets. With fingers, I can knit a scarf, count to 10, type a letter, make a paper chain, finger paint, play the piano, have a big morning stretch. Fingers really are a must for tickling. The fish could see why Barry loved his fingers. They could do so many things. I'm gonna tickle you. Suddenly, the sea went dark and the water shook. It was at that moment that one of Barry's fingers did something truly amazing. It pointed. Look out! Thanks to Barry's fast acting finger, not a single fish got squished by the massive heavy box that fell into the sea. Everyone cheered for Barry. Hey Barry, where can we get some of these fingers? Pirate Jack's Tasty Fish Sticks. Handle with care. Now I really have seen it all, said Sea Slug. The end. Okay, now for our next activity, we are going to sing another song and it is called Five Little Fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera a little bit. And can you count the fish with me? One, two, three, four, five. So, Five little fish swam out one day over the waves and far away. Mama fish said, blub, 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 blub. But only four little fish swam back. Four little fish went out one day over the waves and far away. Mama fish said, blub, 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 blub. But only Three little fish swam back. Three little fish went out one day over the waves and far away. Mama fish said, blub, 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 blub. And only two little fish swam back. Two little fish went out one day over the waves and far away. Mama fish said, blub, 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 blub. And only one little fish swam back. One little fish went out one day over the waves and far away. Mama fish said, blub, 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 blub. And no little fish swam back. Sad mama fish swam out one day over the waves and far away. Sad mama fish said, blub, 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 and one, two, three, four.
four, five, little fish swam back. <laughs> Great job. Okay, our next story is called, is another funny title too, Peanut Butter and Jellyfish. Peanut butter and jellyfish were the best of friends. Best of friends who spent their days exploring up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them, though, they lived near Krabby. You guys swim like humans he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked jellyfish. No, must be the current, said peanut butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. P.U. My grandma called. She wants her run-walk shoes back. I've seen sea snails swim more, with more style. What a bunch of bubbleheads. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, huffed Krabby, as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. It was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap, and it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right. We have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate. The Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but, I can't swim, confessed Krabby. And I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost. The knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. Thanks, you two, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well... There's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish 
still swam up, down, around, and through. But it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. The end. Okay. Well, that wraps up our story time. And it's time to say goodbye. So to say goodbye, we sing the same song that we sang at the beginning of the story time. Okay? So we rock back and forth. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. We'll read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Bye for now. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.